Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to create percussive sounds in Alchemy. Let's start with a basic uh, kick drum. A kick drum can be made by use of a sawtooth wave, maybe just a bit of detuning. Then uh, choose a low pass filter, for example the LP2 XP filter. Take the cutoff knob nearly all the way down and maybe the resonance up maybe if you like a bit of drive then change the envelope generator a bit of decay a bit of release no sustain and modulate the cutoff knob with the envelope take the depth knob down a bit and have a listen to the sound okay pretty close to a kick drum, maybe a bit of mid more cutoff and mid more decay. And try experimenting maybe also with the different slopes of decay. So this is faster and this is longer, of course. You can also try with different kind of LP filter, so maybe for example for with a LP2 SBF which is a state variable filter which kind of gives a more natural or acoustic uh, kind of sound or well, something like, like this okay let's create a preset and try to emulate a, a snare sound a snare sound can be obtained by using a spectral synthesis so choose a white noise maybe adjust the high pass and low pass of the noise just a little bit okay something like this maybe and i also like to add another oscillator this time using virtual uh, analog synthesis maybe a triangle um, waveform just to give uh, some more body to the snare sound otherwise is it's only uh, white noise then again let's choose a lp filter so maybe a lp2 svf this time and uh, like we did before turn the cutoff knob uh, down a bit not all the way down and maybe the resonance up a bit and the drive maybe just a little bit and again we have to change the envelope adding some release and some decay and modulate the cutoff knob with the envelope. Turn the depth knob down a bit and have a listen to the sound. Okay, not the best snare sound, but something quite close. Okay, maybe like like this. Let's try adding some acoustic reverb to see how it sounds with some reverb. Okay, that's pretty pretty nice. Okay, let's clear the preset again and then try to create a hi-hat. Hi-hat again can be made by use a spectral synthesis with some white noise. Again, maybe you can adjust the high pass a bit. Something like this, okay. And then again, you can choose a um, LP filter or maybe also a bandpass filter. Let's go with the default filter or maybe f LP2 fat filter. Again, let's turn the cutoff knob a bit, not too much, and maybe the resonance up a bit. And again, change the envelope with a bit of release and a bit of decay maybe some more decay this time and then again modulate the cutoff knob with the envelope and then turn down the depth knob a bit okay adjust the cutoff as you like maybe the depth just a bit down again and the decay down again a bit okay this should be something like a basic hi-hat sound of course you can add more decay or a very sharp sound turning the decay knob down 
Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.